meaning 70 is left out. So if I write 100, here I need to write 70. It is not 30. Remember that. If it is written 70 percent left out, I mean 70 percent, 30 percent left out, then only you need to write what is left is 30 here. Here it is 30 percent completed means what is the amount of reactor left out is 70. So you need to write 100 upon 70 or 10 upon 7. From this expression it is 2.03, T is 40 minutes, so I am writing it as 40. Log 10 upon 7, so you will write K in minute inverse. I did not convert it to second, if you want you can convert into 60, why to calculate more, so you convert it into minutes so that it is minute inverse. As I have derived the units of first order reaction, it is second inverse we have derived, minute inverse is also here since the time is given in minutes, it will be minute inverse. Second part of the question is T half, that is it is asked T half the relationship is 0.693 upon K, K value you got substitute here you will get the value of T half as 77.7 minutes. Similar questions a first order reaction complete 40 percent complete in 20 minutes, 20 percent complete in 80 minutes like that and all many questions are being asked. Sometimes uh, two different uh, reactions they club and give a first order reaction. 30 percent complete in 20 minutes, how long it will take 40 percent to complete, like that also questions will be given. In that case you need to calculate K, substitute K is constant for both the equations, substitute you get the value. Here second question, this is based on Arrhenius equation, the rate of a chemical reaction quadruples means K become 4 K, when temperature changes from this to this calculate activation energy, you need to, it, it should immediately click you, it is Arrhenius equation, log K2, this is 4K when temperature changes from 313 to 293, K2 upon K1, Ea upon 2.03 R, T2 minus T1 upon T1, T2. I am writing the expression of Ea from this, multiplying this term with the 2.03 R, dividing it with this, so that I am taking the Ea value like this, log K2 upon K1 into 2.03 R divided by T2 minus T1 divided by T1 T2. So when I put the value into 8.31 for R value will come here, K2 upon K1, 4K upon K, it is K2 upon K1, 4K it quadruples, so it is 4K upon K, K and K get cancelled, it is log 4, 2.03 into 8.314, T2 minus 31, T1 313 minus 293 into 313 into 293 divided by. So, you will get a value of 58.86 kilojoule per mole. This type of questions also the triples, doubles with every 10 degree rise in temperature like that and all questions many are there in the textbook. You can go through this, uh, this questions you need to do in NCRT textbook backside and in text questions as well as examples, example 4.5 page number 106. Example 4.7, 4.8, 4.9 in page number 109 and 110. Index question 4.5 and 4.6. Then example 4.10, 4.11 in page number 114. This many questions you have to do. Apart from that textbook backside which all numerical related to this which we have solved has to be done because this is sure short question board examination. Hope you understood what I told. All the best children. Thank you.